I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I'm next to Jeff Barber uh, with the city's arts and events office. Uh, Jeff, you are in charge of public art for the city of Santa Clarita and we've talked about a lot of great things that we've done in the last year or so. Uh, we're yet again at Westfield Valencia Town Center at the Town Center Art Space. Tell us what's going on. Well, we've opened a new exhibit called Six Sculptors. This is a local group that just started up within the last seven months. Uh, they're collaborating on projects and doing individual work and learning from each other and all that. And so we thought it'd be great to have an exhibit of their work. Each piece here is from the individuals. And uh, like I said, they have created some pieces as a, as a unit together at our Festival of the Arts uh, last October. And uh, this exhibit here has about, I think, about 10 pieces. Um, three from one artist, uh, two from one of the other artists that we're going to hear from, and then uh, one from Dale Thayer, which is, I think, right behind me. And uh, public art's really blown up in the last few years. You guys have been uh, concentrating a lot on it. I think this is the fifth or sixth exhibition here now? It is. It's about the sixth exhibition here. In fact, we're very excited because we have two new spaces that uh, we're uh, going to be able to curate uh, art here at the uh, mall. Um, one upstairs, we're calling it the community community wall, and the other is uh, we're calling it the mini gallery. So we have three spaces here at, at Town Center um, to exhibit art. So we're very excited about that expansion, plus our first floor, floor gallery at City Hall. And we're going to speak to the sculptors in just a moment, but you know, I know in addition to having uh, exhibition space, people are going to see a lot more of this public art out in the community, and you were telling me a moment ago about one of the pieces behind you. Yes, the largest piece here behind me is by Scott Bruckner. This piece will be on uh, the trail, uh, South Fork Trail. Uh, we're hoping to work out with uh, the various folks that we need to work out with, county folks, etc., to uh, have the piece placed uh, along the South Fork Trail. We've identified a location and that will be there as a public art piece for people to enjoy. There's a lot of other projects that we've had working behind the scenes and they'll be unveiling uh, in the next few months um, something like Golden Valley Bridge on uh, uh, Soledad and then also uh, something up near the um, uh, McBean Transit Center as well. So, and actually a, a piece in front of Central Park at the median there. So there's some three big projects coming up uh, in the next, let's say, seven to eight months. Right now we're joined with Jim Bakeman, local artist who's been practicing art out here for the last 30 years or so. Uh, tell us about uh, what you do in general and then tell us about the pieces that you have on display here. Uh, in general, I, I enjoy carving cigar store Indians, uh, carousel figures, custom walking sticks, and uh, I, just a little bit of everything. And kind of looking uh, back at your work behind us, it really is amazing the amount of detail that you have uh, going into us. Can you talk about both of these pieces uh, for us? Well, this, this is a, a piece of myrtle wood, and uh, the, the figure, uh, when I decided to do the Native American, I, I researched the base. That's a chief's feather, and uh, uh, I try to design. I always try to design my, my log carvings two-sided. So there's an eagle on the other side. The one behind it's called a wood spirit, and that's a piece of orange tree. It uh, very, very seldom do you see a piece with that much character. I saw, I saw that piece of wood and I thought, I knew, I knew exactly what I wanted to do and it's carved all the way around. Uh, with these, I enjoy, I just enjoy looking at the wood, drawing on it, sketching it and then just, just doing it. Right now we're joined with local artist Adele Tisber. Uh, Adele, you have yet another uh, art exhibit on display. Tell us about it. Um, I have three pieces that I selected, Overture, uh, Gnarled Tree, and The Cube, and they're pretty representat representative of the work that I do. Um, a lot of it is based on movement and just trying to put a little joy into it, a little unexpected, a lot of detail, a lot of details, really. Uh, I guess one of my key elements is that detail, but I love things that twist and curve and uh, the one on the wall, actually, Overture, is based on music. And a lot of my work, a series, is based on different musical ideas. And so Overture, again, is that invitation to come into the music. I also have uh, the soloist and Vivace. 
lots of good, good work. And speaking of relationships, you are one uh, joined by five other sculptors, and you are calling your, your group uh, Six Sculptors, which this is obviously highlighting today. Can you talk about uh, how you guys all came together and what the association is? Uh, Scott Bruckner had pulled us all together. He wanted to start a sculpture group, which is an offshoot of the um, Artists Association. And we're just kind of a loose group. You know, we all have very different specialties. And together, we put together some very interesting things. Uh, most of our work is individual and we show together, but uh, we're starting to do some collaborative pieces and we're working on a proposal now that hopefully I'll be able to talk about soon. Right now, we are joined with Dale Thayer, local artist and one of the members of the six sculptors who's on exhibit today here at the Town Center Art Space. Uh, Dale, tell us about your piece. Uh, the piece I have is called Aeronaut Lodge. The inspiration was a wonderful trip to uh, Costa Rica a number of years ago. Arnell Volcano is active. It doesn't spew a lot of lava, but it throws out all of these hot rocks that stream. So we're at the lodge overlooking the valley, overlooking the volcano. The volcano has its own mist environment at the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two macaws came screaming back to the lodge across the valley at sunset, and just a wonderful, marvelous sight. Can you talk about, uh, we've, we've seen a lot of emergence of public art kind of in the city of Santa Clarita over the last few years. What are your impressions on uh, you know, getting more public art out there? I would love to see more public art. People ask the question, what is the justification for public art? There are a lot of motives, and some of them are uh, you know, not too well defined, but generally, uh, public art really gives a, a better appreciation of the community. It uh, represents the community as having uh, creative drives and sources. People love things that are beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. And I think public art is uh, a very necessary you know, ingredient in that. The, the debate really is, why should we spend public funds for art? I think if you really uh, look deeply at what we try to do as a society and move forward and ahead, uh, there are many, many people who appreciate the need for public art. Absolutely. Dale, I want to uh, thank you for sharing your art with us today and thank you for sharing it with the rest of Santa Clarita. Uh, if you're looking to see Dale's art as well as the other sculptors here on display at the Town Center Art Space, come to the Westfield Valencia Town Center. This space is located kind of in between Sicily's and TGI Fridays. Uh, for this week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.